Hi, I'm Pete Gerlach. I am a veteran family systems therapist and observer of the human condition and after 73 years on the planet. I have just seen a number of well-intentioned videos on YouTube about negative energy uh, in the context of relationships. How to defend yourself against negative energy, how not to absorb it, how to protect yourself against energy vampires and such tripe. Um, I label this tripe because it's an example of vague thinking and inaccurate focus. Let me see if I can back that up. Um, I assume that you're watching this perhaps because you either are concerned about uh, being affected by negative energy or you're just curious about it. In my judgment, after a lot 40 years of observation and reflection, the phrase negative energy relative to human beings and relationships is a vague pop psychology term which really doesn't refer to what's negative. It stands for a group of unpleasant behaviors in other people, wide range depending on who you are and what your personality is and what your circumstances are, you can feel that other people who are scornful or sad or disrespectful or rude or angry <clears throat> or pessimistic or anxiety or depressed or anxious or self-critical or egotistic or rageful or dishonest or jealous or envious, any of those kind of behaviors can be dubbed, quote, negative, unquote, which is real fuzzy thinking. What's negative about normal human reactions? They're neurochemical responses that are totally normal and they point to needs that are not met. There's nothing negative about them any more than there's anything negative about digestion or urination. They're human processes that we're designed to experience in order to live better lives. What is negative is when you're in the presence of a person who gives off those kind of behaviors or attitudes, those work together, attitude, pessimistic attitude, cynical attitude, negative behavior. The, what is negative, meaning uncomfortable, is your own reaction. That is what's negative. Many people don't look at themselves, they look at the so-called other negative person. They criticize them, they blame them, they gossip about them, they tisk tisk. Oh, she's negative, he's apt to be a real boom ball. Um, that's not the issue. The issue is your own reaction to people like this. I want to propose um, something that you can choose to do about this if you feel affected by others' so-called negative energy. Um, people, by the way, in my compassionate opinion, people who give off behaviors like that uh, that make others uncomfortable often, if not always, are survivors of major early childhood trauma. They are only guilty of two things. Quote, negative, unquote, people are wounded, psychologically wounded survivors of early childhood trauma because their parents were similarly wounded and unaware. They are wounded and they are unaware. Quote, negative people are unaware of their wounds, what the wounds mean, how to reduce the wounds, and how to communicate their needs and opinions respectfully and effectively. So, you really want to criticize somebody who is psychologically wounded and unaware? Is that their fault? I propose it is not. I think such people merit our compassion, not our scorn or criticism or gossip. That's an opinion. See what you think. If your reaction, by the way, is, well, yes, but I suspect, perhaps, you are wounded also. Take a look. I want to make some positive suggestions if 
you find yourself thinking about, talking about negative energy or in the presence of someone that you feel is giving off negative energy that you have to defend yourself against. Ah, ah, ah. Baloney. I propose. Learn more about the psychological wounds that come from early childhood trauma. Here's a couple of brief videos to get you started on learning more about that. It may apply to you, your mate, if you have one, and your parents, and anybody you think is, quote, negative, unquote. Learn about childhood trauma and psychological wounds, what they mean and how to reduce them. Study lesson one in my nonprofit website and the video link that you see here. Anytime you think or hear of, quote, negative energy, I urge you and recommend that you rethink that and say, that's not the problem. The problem is, how do I react to people who give off uh, unpleasant uh, behaviors? The problem is me, not them. Take a look at your own reaction. Identify what you feel and what you need. Use the learned skill of awareness. Change your focus from them to you. Notice your reaction. If it's yes but, you are probably ruled by a well-meaning false self. Change your attitude about, quote, negative people, unquote, from blame and scorn to compassion, just as you would if they had a broken leg or were swathed in bloody bandages, because psychologically they're wounded and they don't know it. Change your attitude because scorn and blame inflames neg so-called negative behavior. Defensiveness, combativeness, anger, self-criticism, mutual criticism, it's lose-lose. Change your attitude to compassion. It doesn't mean put up with their behavior. It means learn to have empathy and compassion for them as you do for yourself. Take responsibility for your reaction to their behavior. Focus on yourself and learn how to identify your feelings. Use awareness. Identify your feelings. They point to your needs. And study lesson two on my website and the related, related videos. Learn what effective assertion is. Learn how to dig down and identify your needs. And learn how to use assertive I messages, capital letter I. It's a way of expressing what you need to another person in a way that they will hear you. Let me try and illustrate that. Let's say um, someone is constantly gloomy and cynical and sarcastic and pessimistic. Whenever you're around them, that's the prevailing attitude they, ought, they have and that colors the way they behave and talk and think. And it's pretty tiresome and it tends to drag you down. Using assertive I messages would sound like this. Um, George, can I give you some feedback? George may or may not say yes. He's likely to be curious, especially if you present this neutrally. You say, I experience you frequently as really gloomy and cynical and pessimistic. Are you aware of that? Notice that this is a question, it's not a statement, and it is not blame, and it's not accusation. It's an observation. Uh, George can respond in several ways. Yeah. He may say, I know, I know, or what do you mean? Or, well, you're no ball of fun yourself. Um, if you study assertion, you'll be ready for him to, quote, resist you. Use empathic listening, which is a skill in lesson two. Say, so... You feel you're not overly cynical and maybe I'm oversensitive, or whatever he says. And he says, well, yeah. And then repeat yourself. Calmly, 
factually. When I'm with you, frequently I experience you as cynical and negative. And when you do, I feel like distancing myself from you or tuning you out. I don't want to do that. I simply want to inform you how your behavior is affecting me. Notice, you're not threatening, you're not blaming, you're not demanding, you're informing George, George, or Georgina, how his or her behavior affects you. That's all you're doing. That leaves him or her open to decide how they want to respond to you. It also leaves you feeling good about yourself because you were respectful and you were standing up for what you needed. What I just illustrated applies to any annoying behavior in another person. Anything. See my separate video on how to respond to people that bother you. Quote, difficult people. Simply uses what I just illustrated. Self-awareness, knowledge of the skill of respectful assertion and using empathic listening to respond to expected resistance from the other person. So, notice the options that you have. If you're confronted with someone who, in your opinion, or in someone else's opinion, radiates, quote, negative energy, I encourage you to become more aware of what's really going on. They are not negative. Your reactions to their behavior and their attitudes is uncomfortable equals negative. Notice your options. You have a number of them which can help you get your needs met and perhaps may help them by becoming more aware of their own behavior. Okay? I hope you find this, these suggestions thought-provoking and a new way of looking at something when you hear the media or pop psychologists talk about, oh, negative energy, baloney. It's not. It's you. Thanks for watching.